let us offer our consecration to the Lord. Lord, we offer up to you this day, and we ask that your name be glorified in all that we do. We ask that as we draw closer to Christmas, we may celebrate all that you are doing in our lives and all that you are making us closer to you, that we may testify to the power of your grace in our lives. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Well, today, of course, is December 22nd. And as you've heard all week, it is the readings for today are the same as they are for every single December 22nd. And uh, we're looking at these powerful uh, readings. Now, the first of uh, the first of the readings is fascinating because this is when Hannah uh, brings her son, who turns out to be Samuel, to Eli, who was the high priest. And... Samuel it becomes like a servant to the high priest, and in doing so, he becomes a very powerful prophet of the Lord who becomes the prophet to the first king of Israel. Now, if you read the Bible, you get the sense that the first king of Israel lasted about eight weeks. No, it was about 40 years. And this is one of the issues with the Bible that it's not a problem, obviously, but we look back and and because it's giving us basically an understanding of events that happen in the history of the Jewish people, we can lose a sense of the time because we have to kind of connect it to the actual time. So we realize that when you're going from Genesis to Jesus, you're talking uh, thousands of years. When you're talking David to Jesus, we're ta- you're talking a thousand years. Well, think of all the things that have gone on in the past thousand years, which would make us uh, bring us to 1200, which is roughly the, uh, if I have this right, and I may not, because you know I can't do math, but we're roughly towards uh, the end of the life of St. Francis and the beginning of the life of St. Thomas Aquinas. They they lived in in uh, how would you call it, succeeding generations. So they never lived at the same time, but we can look back and we can go, wow, they must have been around the same time. Well, they were, but from their time, it's like, well, they could not have meet, meet, met each other because one died and the other one was born soon after. Whereas for us, we kind of look at that, oh, the 1200, they're, they're all the same. They're all the same thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, they aren't. Oh, it reminds me. Oh, yeah, I remember I uh, just as a quick story and maybe a little humor there. I remember this guy yelled at me when I was at, I was at the VA hospital going for an appointment. I'm a veteran. Um, I, I this was back just after I came out of the, the Navy. And obviously, I, I VA is a fine hospital, but I have a, a, a private doctor um, and there's nothing wrong with the VA, but I happened to be the VA at the time. And there was a guy, now you got to remember, these are all veterans, and I think he was probably from World War II, maybe Vietnam, and he was smoking right under a sign that says no smoking, right? (laughs) It's like, hello. And at the time, smoke was really affecting me a lot. So I asked him to stop smoking. And he got all, and he started yelling at me. And then... This World War One veteran starts yelling. He says, "When I was, when when I was young, people were all upset about all the horse stuff. We'll call it that ended up on the street. Now it's going up in the air. It's all the same thing." So when I say that, that's one of the first things that pops into my mind. So when I say to you, 1200, 1300, ah, it's all the same thing." That's actually one of the things that pops into my mind for some reason. But anyway, we look back at that time. We can say, "Well, it's all connected." Well. Let's go back to the stories in the Old Testament. They they actually expand many years. So we see that Samuel becomes a, basically an apprentice to Eli. Eli was a, was a very holy priest, but he had two sons that were the exact opposite to him. They were the most corrupt people pretty much, not in the Old Testament, but up there. They were probably on the list of the top five of the most corrupt people in the Old Testament. And that was his two two, si- two sons. But here Hina, H- Hannah, Hannah is bringing 
Eli, her son, who becomes this powerful prophet to the king of Israel at the time, who was King Saul. So all of that comes together, but we can lose a sense of the time frames because we're looking at all of these stories in succession, but we lose a sense that these are happening over thousands of years. I love that that uh, internet meme that says Cleopatra is closer to the landing on the moon than she was to the pyramids, because we don't have a sense of that. And so this is really clear in the Bible. So we go back to this powerful story of Samuel, and Samuel receives as an apprentice Eli. Now, the other way around, of Eli, and Eli receives as an apprentice Samuel. And we see this man who produced two of the most corrupt people, uh, sons in the Old Testament, was still able to bring one very powerful and holy prophet in Samuel. Fascinating how that all comes together. And it shows the humanity that the Lord works with. As Mother Teresa said, the Lord writes straight with crooked lines. And we see all of that come together and all of that powerful reality whenever we see these old these stories from the Old Testament. They're old stories too, but these stories from the Old Testament. We're going to talk more on the other side of the break. You're listening to St. Anthony Overnight from St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, right here on W-E-Z-E. You can now leave a message for us, which we can air and discuss on this program. Just call 617-297-7452. That's 617-297-7452. 617-297-7452. Feel free to call, leave a comment, a question, or even feedback, and we may play it on the air. I can discuss your comment or question as well, so give that a try. 617-297-7452. 617-297-7452. I want to call your attention to Catholic TV, which offers great faith-filled, family-friendly programming 24 hours a day. You can find your cable channel at www.getcatholictv.com and you can watch online on the free apps or check out the YouTube channel. Daily Mass, Rosaries, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and the Our Lady of Perpetual Help Novena are all available online and on demand. Check out catholictv.com. And don't forget our own website, Catholic Audio Media. Dot com. That's CatholicAudioMedia.com. Check out our website. Check out the archives of the show. Check out our Substack newsletter. You can check out all kinds of things. Don't forget, we are here every single um, uh, Monday through Friday uh, on WEZE. But you can also hear us at Catholic Audio Media, as I said. And you have a standing invitation to our 10 o'clock a.m. Mass on Sunday. So check that out. Well, our gospel reading is, of course, what is known as the Magnificat. This is when what happens is Mary proclaims the powerful truth of the Lord, what the Lord is doing through her. And so basically, remember, what the Lord is all about is bringing peace and justice to his people. Because what hurts people is the injustice, the corruption, as we were just talking about, and he brings peace and justice to his people. So she's talking about how the Lord is bringing the Savior into the world, Um, and he is doing powerful things with his mercy to lead those to come closer to him, but those who reject, those who reject him, he t- he turns them away because he has no other choice. The Lord can't bring those who reject him. It, it's like uh, um, the the magnet that, even though it's well, the magnet that it cannot attract and repel at the same time. So those who uh, turn away from the Lord, the the Lord can do all He can to attract them, but if they really put up their strength to say, no, I want nothing to do with this, there is nothing he can do. And usually they want nothing to do with this because there's something else. There is something else they love more than God, and that's what they want and not God. And even though God can say, you know, 
I want you to understand you're walking down the wrong path. They're not going to listen. Um, and that's what the Lord, that's what Mary is sp- saying, because the Lord is speaking to her through Mary and saying, for those who seek me, who maybe be repelled as well by those who reject me, that time will come where they will find peace and justice. The hungry will be filled with good things. The rich uh, and understand the rich will be sent empty away well what what's wrong with being rich nothing but if you take your riches to be more important than god yes that's a problem um if you take your riches as a gift from god and use them as the lord calls you to use them that's fine if you say all rich people are in hell then saint thomas more is in hell because he was rich we all know that and there are other people who sought to do the best they could with their money and they they do that in service to the lord and there are other who others who are very poor now there are people who are poor who become very bitter and angry and they become uh vicious towards the lord they become vicious towards his people well the lord can't do it it's the exact same situation can't do anything for them but those who recognize that god is real that god is coming closer to us that god is um leading us to become everything he calls us to be or open to the lord the lord will bring them all that he promises and this is basically what mary is saying in that magnificat we're going to talk tomorrow on the day we celebrate is December 23rd liturgically, and it is also going to be the fourth uh, Friday of the fourth week of Advent. See you then. If you would like to support our program, please consider a donation to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. There are several ways to consider this. One is to purchase any of our merchandise, which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. There are coffee mugs there. There's also my latest book, Encounter Christ in Your Humanity, all of which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. You can also donate to the show directly through either the Donate tab, also at catholicaudiomedia.com, or by sending a donation through the U.S. Postal Service with your questions and comments at 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. That's St. Anthony Parish, 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. Finally, the best way you can support our parish is to attend Mass on Sundays at 10 o'clock and be a part of our parish. We thank you for any support you would like to give to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, the sponsoring parish for this media outreach to Catholics and other Christians in the WROL, WEZE, and podcast listening audience. In Cristo vivimos.